This looked like the most appealing matchup in Week 7, hands down, before Steelers quarterback Ben Roethlisberger underwent surgery to repair a torn meniscus he suffered in a Sunday loss against the Miami Dolphins. So now the battle against the New England Patriots gets a little bit of a different wrinkle as backup Landry Jones will start in Roethlisberger's place. But how will the Steelers offense look in Roethlisberger's absence? Since he became the team starter in 2004, the Steelers have gone 11-9 and nine in games that Roethlisberger has missed. But this is against a Patriots team that looks like one of the best outfits in the NFL with a capable defense and quarterback Tom Brady looking like an MVP. I'll be at this game and I'll be closely watching to see whether Roethlisberger's absence is just too much to overcome. This is one of the best division matchups going in the NFL right now, the Seahawks versus the Cardinals. Both teams are playing very good football, though Seattle has the edge at 4-1 while Arizona sits at 3-3. Three three. It's a showdown featuring two very talented defenses, so it may be the team whose offense plays best that takes the game. That's why the Cardinals, who had a big offensive output in a Monday night victory against the Jets, may be a surprise upset here. But the most important thing that Sunday night showdown may give us is a look at who may have the inside track in the NFC West. It's a quarterback homecoming of sorts in Week 7. Both Sam Bradford, now with the Vikings, and Brock Osweiler, currently the starting quarterback of the Houston Texans, return to their old stops on Sunday. Of the two, I think Bradford has the best chance at exacting revenge, as Minnesota boasts one of the best defenses in the NFL, and the Philadelphia Eagles are currently on a two-game losing streak. Osweiler, on the other hand, has been inconsistent, and Denver's defense is another one of the stingiest units in the NFL. It should be fascinating to watch, but the key, however, might be for both players to not let their emotions get in the way.